Welcome back, guys. So this Thanksgiving, skip the frozen veggies and canned fruit. That's nope. right. We're joined now by <laughs> Raven Davis and Sophia Hussein from Civic Works Real Food Farm in Northeast Baltimore. Thank you for being here, ladies. Good morning. Thank you, guys. Morning. So talk to us about your organization. Um, we're here from Civic Works Real Food Farm, and yeah. we work over in Clifton Park, where we grow tons and tons of fresh local produce. Um, and we, right now we have a ton in season for fall. Nice. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So tell us about what's in season, both yeah. fruits and vegetables right now. Oh man, we have tons. We have apples, beets, See that? Yeah, winter squash, Come butternut birds, and honey. Mm -hmm. See some cranberries. Yeah. We got it all. So you're keeping things all natural. Yeah. Natural vibes. That's what I like. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So how can we incorporate these in-season fruits and vegetables into our Thanksgiving meal? You can spice up your Thanksgiving meals by using something like turnips for your mashed potatoes. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it gives a really nice texture. Mm. Or maybe some scallions. Or even Brussels sprouts for your coleslaw. Yeah. And it's oh, healthy wow. too. Mm -hmm. Y'all want to be healthy. <laughs> Fresh and crunchy. <laughs> Or you could add like mashed sweet potatoes to your biscuit batter and make Ooh. it sweet. Oh, these are all great yeah. ideas. You're, You're going to be hungry, one. guys. <laughs> and I love the fact that it's natural. You're supporting the environment as well. And it's healthy. Super so cool. You're going to make something for us here? Yeah, I'm going to whip together a quick kale salad. Mm -hmm. okay. So we're adding some roasted butternut, butternut squash. squash. So Yummy. We already have the kale. I'm assuming it's been washed and the chopped. The kale's been washed and chopped. They're all fresh and ready to go. Nice. So we're going to add some butternut squash. Mm -hmm. And some Yum. Brussels sprouts. How did you cook this squash? You can put it in the oven, 350 or 375, with a little bit of olive oil, salt and mm -hmm. pepper. Salt and pepper, keep it simple. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of flavor by itself, so right. you don't need easy. to add too much. And what kind of cheese is this? This is Swiss, shredded Swiss cheese. Ooh. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. And then you've got like a nice honey vinaigrette. Yeah, made with <gasps> olive oil, Dijon mustard, a little mm. salt and pepper, and yeah. just a little bit of vinegar. And it smells so good, guys. It does. It smells delicious. And we're using in-season vegetables right yeah. now. That's so cool. And then lastly, we're going to add some cranberries, dried cranberries. Mm -hmm. Oh, that little, Yay. little bit of color in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I like to cook by color. Make sure oh, you get all of it represented in there. <laughs> Make a it a rainbow. rainbow. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Rainbow. And what kind of dressing is this? Yeah, so it's, it's like a honey Dijon vinaigrette. Oh. Yeah. Right, and then be yummy. And toss it all. And this is great. You can use it as an appetizer. Yeah. You can use it as a late dinner. Mm -hmm. You can pretty much do whatever with it. Of course. <laughs> So besides the grocery store, where can we find these? These in-season yeah. vegetables and fruits. I think a great resource for um, Baltimore folk is the Waverly Farmers Market. Okay. It's on 32nd Street and it's open all year round. And nice. they do a really good job at stocking with um, a bunch of local produce and dairy and meat, meat farms and stuff. Nice. And then also we've got at Civic Works Road Food Farm has a mobile farmer's market track, which oh, that's makes cool. stops in Northeast Baltimore at community centers and churches and things mm -hmm. like that. And we are out there Tuesday through Friday with fresh produce from the farm. And it's another really good resource. I got to make sure to check it out. Yeah, you can check out our website to find the stops. Nice. And what is that website? It's realfoodfarm.org. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is a great meal that will last. I mean, you can do this throughout the entire winter. Yeah, and it's exactly. easy too. It's, it took like five minutes and you have this wonderful fresh meal. Mm -hmm. And it's good for you. Yes, <laughs> most importantly. <laughs> Thank you ladies so much for talking to us about this delicious food and about your great organization. Sure, yeah, our pleasure. Um, if you guys want to find out how to eat more locally, yeah. uh, check out our community supported agriculture program. Thank you. Yeah, totally. Appreciate it, Queens. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. It was fun.